what is going on guys this is Cindy Sander here bringing you my a thank you for 500 subscribers video I really enjoy what I do and I really love the feedback that you guys give me and I really want to give something back so I'm gonna start off with this tutorial on a um, effect I made in the Matt's episode I really like this effect and uh, yeah I wanted to give you something so uh, yeah I really hope you guys enjoy and uh, keep giving me the support you do uh, you guys are the best and yeah uh, let's just get straight into the tutorial what is going on guys we are back in After Effects doing my tutorial for 500 subscribers so yeah this is basically the effect that I'm showing you guys today uh, I used this effect in Matt's introducing to Synergy I'm really happy with it uh, it's kind of a glitchy kind of warpy effect effect uh, it works really good uh, with a DMB dubstep song um, and kind of a techno uh, glitch so yeah uh, it's it's a little bit advanced so yeah I'm gonna start showing you how to do it to make a new tutorial composition and drag in our clip so this should all be good so far. Um, just sync your clip up with the song, like that. And then just, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna take it from here. Uh, this adjustment layer is just, um, this is just some uh, scaling. So that should be good, you should just scale it up. Uh, maybe some rotation, that's what I use. And then add on a little bit of twitch maybe. Uh, if you want that so there we go that's all we get so far just uh, scale rotation twitch uh, the next thing I used in this effect was some optics compensation like that uh, just reverse the lens distortion and just go from 0 uh, all the way to 40 or 45 uh, depending on what you like I use 4 in this one and then go to the end of the scaling and put it down to zero. So that's that. Uh, sorry for sounding a little bit drugged down. I'm just so tired. It's like 4 a.m. in the morning. But you're just gonna have to live with it. So add a new adjustment layer. Uh, I'm gonna go for the data glitch right now. Um, just add on some data glitch. Data glitch. Like that. And it's gonna basically fuck the entire screen up if you just start adding stuff so go to 20 about uh, exactly where it shoots put a keyframe down go a couple of frames forward and put it down to zero uh, actually go not that far go quite short on this one uh, okay. so you just get data glitch for the first couple of frames so then you want to go into data glitch and go to scan glitch, put it to zero, block glitch, put it to zero, and offset glitch, put it to about 25. Like that, depending on the clip. Uh, this one I used 25. What I also did in the edit was to go, uh, make sure you have your adjustment layer marked, and go to the rectangular cue uh, on the masking, and mask down a little bit under half. So like here, and go to and press F on your keyboard to go to feather and just feather it about 10 pixels maybe. Yeah, that looks good. So that's basically just the beginning of it, and that's the data glitch. Now I'm going to show you guys the uh, kind of bluish thing I had on here, just a little bit of blue tint thing. So add a solid. Uh, preferably a Zion slash blue solid on top of this uh, and make it about as long as the scale rotation no sorry the um, data glitch and a little bit before the he shoots so you have a little bit of time to fade it in now go to the uh, rectangular tool again and just mask out about as much as you did on the data glitch just on top Go to press F again to get to the feather and put it to 555. Uh, like something below that works as well. And above, just need to test it out. 
Uh, so this works good for me. Uh, as you can see, we have this kind of blue thingy. Just go to the mode, change it to overlay, so you get it kind of as like it's coloring the background. And then we're just gonna fit them with opacity. So just go from zero opacity. When you shoot, go to hundred, and then go back down to zero. Uh, a couple of frames later. So this is basically what we have so far. Uh, right now I'm going to show you the last effect that I used in this one. Uh, it's kind of a warpy shockwave effect thing. Um, where you basically use displace, displacement map and a ring. Uh, so first off just add an adjustment layer. Uh, just add some um, displacement map. Like this. Like that. I'll go and make a new sign, or like you can make it black, doesn't matter, just make it solid. Uh, and add some radio waves, radio waves to it. Sorry for going a little fast, I hope you can follow this. Um, just change the frequency to 0 0.10, uh, and then you start with the 50, and the end with the 50, which will make a kind of ring effect. Uh, also right click the solid and go to time and go to time stretch and change that to 20, 25, something around that and then just drag the clip until the ring is about that big so you have a little bit of a ring and then you can see the ring is just expanding um, so pre-compose the ring right click and then press pre-compose and make sure to have move all attributes into the new composition hit ok uh, just cut it doesn't matter go into the composition and add some Gaussian blur to it like that make it about 35 like that um, under Gaussian blur then you can add some mosaic uh, the normal one works best uh, not best but it works uh, I prefer the BCC mosaic. Just add that on and make sure to put the Gaussian blur below it so you get the mosaic blurred out. As you can see, it's now expanding with mosaic. So just uh, change, just mess about with the settings. Uh, I like to have them kind of small pixels, but and yeah, scrambled. So they get like this. That works best to me. So you have this scrambled kind of dots moving around um, we should also have in here now uh, like that then go to your displacement map and change it to the black solid uh, composition and there you go uh, put it to about 20 on each of them and then just turn off the black uh, composition then you basically have the shockwave effect as well uh, you can see it right there uh, so it's basically expanding out just like the solid, uh, just making this bulge effect thing. That's basically it, I think. Um, I'm going to preview it here at the end. So leave a like and comment if you enjoyed. Uh, probably going to do more of these tutorials in the future. I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed it. And also if you have a tutorial that you want to see, just comment down below. Uh, just, yeah. So this is basically the effect right here. I really like it. It's creative. Um, kind of not the normal original stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, and also make sure to um, cut the uh, black solid uh, and the adjustment layer after, because as you can see here, it's gonna repeat itself uh, right here. Just make sure to cut it and the, at the end. And yeah, that's basically it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And once again, thank you so much for having the subscribers. It really means a lot. Sorry for being so tired. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Bye.